Hey guys, um, I know I have not made a video in a while, and I will be making a video on why that is pretty soon, but uh, in this video I wanted to talk about some 3D printed prototypes I made, and uh, what they're going to be used for. So um, these are the bottom halves of enclosures, and uh, this is the newest version. Um, it has everything I need and it fits nicely. Um, I have like self-tapping screws that uh, hold a little perf board here in place. I uh, can't do it on camera, but um, that's how that'll fit in, except I had a few other prototypes, in fact I have another one over here. Um, but what it's going to be used for is creating a development platform for soft robotics. Now if you remember in some of my last videos I did content around soft robotics and um, that's kind of my maker interest at the moment. Except, uh, so what this is going to be is, as I said, a development platform. Uh, for the first version, it'll be based around the Arduino Micro, which is uh, personally my favorite Arduino board, actually. I uh, will also be, a uh, little side, no side note, uh, I'll be doing some more Arduino videos in the future, so that you have that to look forward to. But um, right now, I have a little demo where here I have a small 3-volt pump hooked up to a balloon and the Arduino. Now as you can see, when it turns on, it inflates, but uh, there's the air doesn't uh, 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 le leak back out automatically, and the motor isn't reversible, so if you inverse the polarity, it doesn't like pull out air and function as a vacuum. So how I'm getting around that is I'm using the um, a, a motor driver chip the, um, I want to say it's the L9, uh, oh, crap, uh, sorry, I'll be, I'll find it. It's the, uh, L, L9, L, L293D IC, it's a motor driver chip, um, and I will be using two of them, one to control two, uh, motor pumps, and then another one to control two solenoids that will empty the system of air so we don't have air buildup that just never comes out of the um, of the air pockets or or the soft robotic or soft robot that we're talking about here. And um, this will be the enclosure for it. I have not tested out the top half yet, but I assume it fits because um, it will as it has the same hole measurements of the ones here. Let me just focus this um, because I have screws that will uh, fit into it and will secure the two together. These are the particular screws that are being used right here. So um, yeah, I will be um, eventually making a uh, update video once I get all the equipment and uh, materials that I need to finish the project. and. Um, also in that video I'll be talking about how to uh, uh, advance this project, how to make it better, hint hint, Wi-Fi hint hint. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video, peace out.